When we are ready to move past the macro recorder and start customizing our macros, we will need to do that using the Visual Basic Editor. It's the code window that allows us to see and modify macro code. The easiest way to open the Visual Basic Editor is by using the keyboard shortcut Alt F11. And then there's the official method via the developer ribbon. Now, if you haven't done this before, you probably don't have a developer ribbon like I do, in which case we should turn it on. To turn on the developer tab, you need to modify your Excel ribbon via File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and make sure the box next to Developer is checked. Click OK, and there you go. You got the developer ribbon enabled. But we want to see the VBA interface. So just click the Visual Basic button, and there it is. We see the Visual Basic Editor. OK, so the first thing most people notice about the VBE is that it looks kind of old fashioned. And you'll notice some drop down menus at the top and some old school looking buttons here. The reason it looks old fashioned is just because engineers tend to be focused on other things. But as you get oriented here, I want to point out some really neat things. First of all, you can totally customize your toolbar here, and we're going to do that later. Second, you can change your view so that it suits you. For instance, let's add a key tool to your VBE, your Visual Basic Editor, that's going to allow you to do some really cool things. We need to enable the immediate window. You can turn this on using the View drop-down menu and selecting Immediate Window. This tool is going to allow us to test run pieces of code as we're writing it, instead of waiting to see if that little tiny piece of code worked within the entire procedure when we're ready to run the entire procedure. This allows us to test bits and pieces of code right now, hence the term immediate window. For anyone coming from another programming language, it's like your console. OK, check this out. If you type something here, you can actually see your programming in action. I'm going to type a really basic statement. And don't worry, you're not going to know what this says yet. But by the end of this course, you're going to be able to run circles around me. OK, now I'm going to execute my code here. I'm going to hit Enter. Keep your eye on the left hand side. Ready? And just like that, I actually get to see my programming in action. OK, for now, pause your video and make sure that you can open the Visual Basic Editor and then also open the immediate window. And bonus points if you type in this little code here and actually see it working. Come on back and we'll keep going.